Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the very latest from Samsung, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, latest firmware, UI version 2, which loads of people, millions of people worldwide have been waiting for. Thailand's one of the first countries to have received it, which is fantastic. I happen to be in Thailand at the moment. I'm just going to share with you a couple of things I do not like with the update. Um, so let me go straight into it. One of the new big pluses that you've seen and have been waiting for is the lovely new smooth UI interface. Very smooth. For instance, if I show you this app, which is a great app, and I'll do another demo later on on that, and the same with this app, very, very smooth, very, very nice. Oh, into internet, amazingly smooth. However, you cannot do that. I repeat, you cannot use that feature if you use a third party launcher. So if you use something like Nova, which I do, you will not have the ability to use those very smooth animations, at least for the time being. For some unknown reason, Google have not allowed that to be used on third party uh, apps with the exception of their own phones, which is very strange. Um, so I wanted to share that with you straight away. The other thing that's missing, if I go to, let's say, this particular app and I go to app information previously on the previous version there would be another uh, lack of a better word paragraph or subheading and it would be app information from the Play Store you would tap on that and then you can go straight to the Play Store and see if there's been any bugs updates that you may not be aware of and so on very useful for some unknown reason They've taken that away. Don't know why, but they have. Um, the other thing is the dark mode that you've been waiting for a long time seems to be working very well, but doesn't work on any, everything. And I will show you that in a second. So um, let me go straight into settings. And if I go to the, uh, there's many things. I may do another update on this if there's enough interest. You'll see themes and wallpapers are now separ separate. The fingerprint seems to have been improved, which is nice. Um, motion and gestures have been improved dramatically. And if I scroll down, I go to navigation bar, you'll see what I mean. At the moment, I'm using the full screen gestures and I have the option of tapping that one. And that gives you a really, really nice smooth uh, operation and I've just shown you that and you can change many things on this uh, however let me just go back again that more options will vanish once you use any third-party home screen hopefully that will come back but that will not be usable when you do that so if I now go back to uh, apps and scroll down to, I just type in Nova, because I use Nova. Tap on there, scroll down, and as you can see, I'm using that. I will change it to Nova. Oops, it is it. And here it is. You'll see system navigation is a little, um, let's see here. It's required me now to change my navigation. I'm going to go to this. It's still better than what it was. Uh, however, it's now grayed out. You can see more options is now no longer there. Not a smooth. I like Nova for a number of reasons. On this single page, I do not have anything on page, any other scrolling left or right. I have over 200 apps. For instance, if I want to look at the news, one light tap, I get all the news folder open. And if I tap one time, it will open up the news from Google. So you can do that on any of these folders, but that's a separate uh, uh, instructional video. If you're interested, let me know, and I will do that. But how you can use Nova in a fantastic way. So whatever is the first app in your folder, it will open up by the first tap. I can do a tuition on that if there's enough interest as well as. So here, uh, is now my Nova, and if I just open up, say, uh, let's have a look, Nice Catch, which is a separate app as well, and if I close it, 
it's you don't get the same animations by a long shot not as nice uh, but many things that had a dark mode uh, now do work uh, very well for instance if I open up this folder and if I go to let's have a look smart news that used to be black lettering on white background and now it's done it I it doesn't work perfectly because for instance this gray white bar is very ugly uh, but you know it's getting better so I just want to share that stuff with you is there anything else I wanted to mention on that oh the battery life seems to have been improved dramatically actually which is very nice as other things very quickly I just go through settings there's a digital well-being uh, parental control, nice features. Um, fingerprint, I mentioned, has actually been improved. Uh, the do not disturb has been improved dramatically as well, which is nice. Device care, completely different layout, very nice. The only other thing I don't like here is the battery. If I go to battery usage, you can see I've used it for 2 hours 53 minutes so far, but it doesn't say if I go past midnight, it's now going to be carried into another day. I'd like it to be shown uh, since I last charged it, but nevertheless, very nice. Not Nothing to really write home about, if you like. Um, very, very good. Is there anything else in selling you've got to know or should know about? Uh, no, the only other thing that's been missing for some time, though, is the uh, Samsung clock. If you use the alarm, there used to be a feature in it that when it woke you up with the music or sound, it would slowly increase the volume. For some unknown reason, you don't have that option anymore. It just suddenly wakes you up. So that's it for this. If you'd like a more detailed and thorough explanation on the UI, let me know. Uh, please... Uh, any comments, any questions uh, on the UI, please let me know.